I want to accomplish two things with you in this video. Number one, I want you to get a sense for the difference between routers, and those are the hockey puck looking things in this topology, and switches, the pizza box looking things in this topology. These are layer two switches, so they don't have routing intelligence. And these are routers. They have that layer three routing intelligence. The other thing that I'm gonna do with you in this video is I'm gonna get you familiar with Cisco's viral emulator. This emulator is running right now on my Mac and notice there's a product called VM Maestro where you lay out a topology like this and then you go up to this start button right here and you start this topology. So I just fired up these emulated routers and switches in this topology, and we're seeing the console down here that's gonna enable us to actually log in to these devices once they spin up. So there we go, thanks to the magic of video, I've unpaused the video now, and you can see that things are now reachable and states are changed to active. So let's go to this switch right here first, why don't we? We'll right click and we'll telnet to its console port. So the console port for this switch should come up. And when we hit enter, we find that the switch is really ready to go. Watch this, if I say enable, we will leave what's called user mode, which we can see we're at because of that greater than prompt. And I don't think there's a password on here. Maybe it's a default password of Cisco on these devices. That was correct, it was Cisco. And we can see the pound sign indicating we're in configuration mode. So we could make configurations here, but the interesting thing is we don't have to. We have these things on the switch called VLANs, and they are the layer two broadcast domain for traffic, and the switch is all pre-configured, so if we do show VLAN brief, for instance, we can see that there is this default VLAN on this device, as well as a non-default VLAN that's been created by someone, that's interesting, and that these VLANs are going to make this topology function. We've got VLAN 2, which is leading out to the iOS V1 router, and then there's a trunk link between the two switches for carrying the traffic of multiple VLANs. Notice there's no IP addressing here, is there? If we do a show IP interface brief on the switch, the only IP address is on the gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 interface, and that IP address is for management purposes. Notice the 01 interface shown in our topology has no IP address, nor does the 02. These are layer two interfaces and they're ready to switch traffic really fast throughout this topology. So again, there is an IP, but it's on the management interface so we can connect to that switch and management. And, and manage it, super interesting. Let's right click this device and Telnet to its console port. It's gonna come up in an adjacent window here. And whoa, I just made that full screen. Uh, let me see if I can collapse that, there we go. All right, so we're gonna type enable. Cisco is the password. We'll do our show VLAN brief. And I think what we're gonna see, look at this, our VLAN 2 is leading out to the other router. And sure enough, the gigabit ethernet zero slash one interface doesn't show up in this output because it is a trunk link over to the other switch. And if we did our show IP interface brief, I'm sure we'd see the same thing on this device that it has an IP address on the management interface for management purposes, no other IP addressing in the scenario. If we do a show Mac address table, that's gonna show us, and let's see the exact syntax on this one is gonna be show Mac and then address hyphen table. So there's our syntax on this switch. That varies from Cisco switch to Cisco switch, by the way. So it drives me a little bit crazy on what syntax I need for what switch. But anyways, notice that this switch is doing what it does best. It's learning layer two MAC addresses dynamically on these interfaces to move traffic. Notice it's not IP addresses that it's learning, it's learning MAC addresses to forward traffic. All right, let's close up these switches then. Let's see, there's a way I can close these terminal windows. I haven't played with GNS, 
this isn't GNS3. This is Viral Anthony. I haven't played with Viral in a while, so I'm a little rusty. We'll tell that to the console port of one of the routers, and let's see what's going on there. If we do in enable, we'll put in the password of Cisco, and I'll do a show IP interface brief over here. Oh, look at this. Holy IP addresses, Batman. We can see that there is a management IP like the switches had, but look at this. There is an IP address on the 0 slash 1 interface in our tech topology. It's 10 0 0 5. Look at that. And there's a loopback IP address on this device too. If we go over and look at the second router, let's do that. And let's do uh, the same commands over there. So we're going to do enable, a password of Cisco, and then we're going to show IP interface brief. We see it's gigabit ethernet zero slash one is it ten zero zero six so can these devices can these routers communicate via their ip addresses through those switches let's try it ping 10.0.0.5 the ip address we know is over on that ios v1 router and we are successful five ping packets were sent and five ping packets were returned, thus the exclamation points. So we have 100% success here, and we have very little minimum average and maximum round trip latency. Look at that. So we are doing great as far as efficient communications in this environment goes. So in this demonstration, we saw the power of this viral tool, but most importantly, we looked at layer two switches and how they're configured and how they're learning MAC addresses to do their job at layer two. And then our layer three routers are speaking the language of IP addresses at layer three. By the way, on the switches, we did a show MAC address hyphen table to see the information that the switch possesses in order to move traffic. What is it on the router? Well, it's show IP route to see the information that the router possesses in order to move traffic. And we can see that someone's configured OSPF on this topology and that we're learning of the loopback addressing through the OSPF protocol. So this is the stuff of routing, and this is at layer three of the OSI model, where those layer two switches, of course, are operating at layer two with those MAC addresses. Well, I sure thank you so much for tuning in to this video on routers and switches, compliments of AJSnetworking.com.